Professor Furstenberg, congratulations. First question. What was your reaction when you first heard that you are a recipient of the 2020 Arbor Prize? I received this notice this with total disbelief because I had known about the prestige of, of, the, of the Abel Prize and knew, knew the list of former laureates of the Abel Prize and uh, for whom I have a very, very high regard. In particular, when I, I, one whose work I know well, overlaps some of my work, and in fact, inspired some of my work, was the, the, the prize that was given to Summer a number of years ago. And um, I, I felt, simply felt that these, these were people of a certain, in a certain league, and I was not in that league. And to hear that, in, indeed, hear the words, Norwegian Academy of Sciences and prize, and on realizing that it referred to the Abel Prize, came to me as a total surprise. When you first started studying random walks, did you have any idea that they would result in so much new and interesting mathematics? No, I mean, one never knows uh, what the impact is going to be of, of one's work. You, do, you uh, uh, like every mathematician, I followed my nose and things. What a, what seems to be very interesting, and if I have some I, some new way of looking at something that's been done already, and uh, and it turned out that um, that that this was received. Uh, and people did work on related things, and later on I heard that there's something called the Furstenberg boundary, which made me very happy. To, uh, and um, uh, so the uh, um, one never knows what's going to be with with what one does, and I don't think that's such a good idea to think about what's going to be the impact of this. Just to do what one feels like doing, and one enjoys doing. And, uh, that's the case, situation with this work. Yeah. You have made advances in group theory, probability theory, ergodic theory, number theory. In what way do you think that your work has broken down walls between different mathematical fields? I'm not sure one can speak about breaking down walls rather than bringing things together, just showing the part of the beauty of mathematics is the way that ideas from different fields come together and uh, there must be something behind all this and uh, and uh, some greater harmony which is uh, uh, in which these things to which these things belong and uh, and that's as that I, I could say the aspect of the beauty of mathematics is what attract what what's been attracting me to the subject and uh, and uh, somehow that seems to be guiding my work in some some sense but uh, um, if, it's, if it has had an impact of that kind, then I, I would be very happy. But I think that this, these things, again, come about by themselves. That it turns out that you wouldn't know that, uh, that geometry has to do with number theory, but it does. And uh, I'm very happy to have done some, of the, given, done some of the ideas in that way. But I must mention that, the, that perhaps the most striking uh, example of this, of this unity was something called Dirichlet's theorem on primes in arithmetic progressions, in which he used a tool, he used a tool for, it's referred to as a, a theory of functions of a complex variable, which on the face of it should have nothing to do with numbers and prime numbers in particular, but it turns out it's very, it turns out to be very significant. And, uh, um, and this, I think, has inspired people to try to come see how one can combine one discipline with another discipline. And so I must humbly say that I'm, my own work has had did not could not have had much impact after after the work of of Dirichlet. Professor Margulis, congratulations. First question: What was your initial reaction when you heard that you are to receive the 2020 Arbel Prize? Yeah, I was very excited, of course, and then it's mostly I consider this as a sign of recognition by the mathematical community of the kind of general area which Hillel Furstenberg and I are working and certainly okay hopefully 
I deserve the prize, but I realize that it's the many other people also deserve, and so it's. But still, I consider this as a great honor and recognition by the mathematical community. Your work shows deep connections between many fields. In what ways do you think it demonstrates the unity of mathematics? Yes, so it's the unity should not be understood that mathematicians should be united about around some general program, but most, so certainly mathematics is divided, is divided into several parts, and sometimes it's people feel connections between these parts, and sometimes not, but so my understanding of unity is kind of to find the deep connections between various parts of mathematics. The prize money is about $400,000. Have you given any thought about how you might want to spend it? Actually, I have not yet given any thought about that, so it's probably I can do this later. <laughs>